does the next generation of machine learning and artificial intelligence mean for enterprise organizations? What happens if they don't get involved with business transformation? We're discussing these topics and more here at Shift 2017. I'm Brian Westbrook. This is Shift, presented by Intel and GeekWire. From smart, automated manufacturing powered by IoT, to blockchain services in fintech, to predictive healthcare using AI and analytics to deliver ever increasing accuracy and precision. No industry is untouched by disruption today. What's happening is that there's a huge confluence of data, computing power, and new techniques for getting value from data. So that's all coming together to create what's essentially a revolution in how we do business. Everything from how we run our operations, how we connect with our customers, to how we design our products. Scale of one to 10, how critical is memory to the success of transforming your business? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a 10. It's one of the top things you need to worry about uh, because you got to put that data somewhere and you need to have fast access to it in order to do the analytics on it. So what we're working on uh, is new, more uh, optimized, what we call platform connected strategies for these new memory technologies. You work with Johnson & Johnson and you've approached the hybrid cloud in a unique way. Why don't you tell us a little about that? So over the last four years, j, &J has built out our enterprise hybrid cloud to truly extend our on-premise enterprise data center into the public cloud. What that gave us was a foundation of how we could build innovation with our customers. So reduce the time to value, improve agility, and really just enable the next generation capabilities for our patients, doctors, and consumers. We are looking at the different aspects of artificial intelligence and data and business transformation. Lots of great topics here. I'm joined by John Marks. First of all, tell me why this is important in the financial services industry. So you have FinTech and you have things like blockchain that are bringing about innovation at a very rapid pace and it's a, a digital disruption for huge established banks, for trading companies. Virtually everyone in financial services is looking at new technologies to raise the bar with regard to how they perform their service on behalf of their customers. So you are involved with, with T-Mobile's IoT and edge computing efforts. First of all, why don't you tell us what T-Mobile is doing in that space? One of the most exciting things T-Mobile is doing in IoT, but also to help push the edge, is the launch of a narrowband network. So we have a specific network technology called narrowband IoT. Uh, purpose built to enable sensors, give them long battery life with all of the uh, privacy, security, and authentication that you get from an LTE framework. Lenovo is a name everyone has heard, but Scott, tell me how you are helping your customers and working with them to help them with this digital transformation to take it to the next step. Yeah, we're really helping our customers when you think about data analytics, high performance computing, uh, as well as looking into the future of AI, really helping customers understand what are the best solutions out in the marketplace and what Lenovo can bring to them to help them speed up that transition uh, to digital transformation. How do you see your business transforming in the next five years? What technology is going to make that happen? Um, our CEO has a mandate to use more data, all the data that we can get from digital service providers to make more informed marketing decisions. We're basically building an in-house uh, programmatic advertising stack, so it's an advertising exchange, and the idea that we can leverage this platform in order to roll it out on additional subsidiaries that belong to our owners. You're building the product that's going to change your business the most in five years. All right, hopefully it's not like Terminator. No, no. How's, how's that movie end? It doesn't end well. Big DL, scale out, deep learning on Spark. You're using data analytics to save lives. How? As patients are in the hospital and there's more and more data that's available on these patients, that there may be an opportunity for us to be able to use that data to try to find patterns that are consistent with patients who may not be doing so well in the hospital. Sometimes, actually, even before that uh, pattern is apparent to other people and the clinicians taking care of them. Tell us why businesses might be interested in a hybrid cloud solution, and frankly, what is it? Cloud is important for companies because it's helping them move a lot quicker. Now, why hybrid cloud? There's a couple of reasons. Uh, we can do a lot of things out of our Azure data centers. We're very excited about the customers that we're working with there. 
But then you talk about things like latency and connectivity, and there's certain workloads that are sensitive to that. And then you talk about policy and regulation, you know, sensitivity of the data and where that data is, regulated industries. And so having a cloud strategy that's able to bridge across those uh, types of considerations is what hybrid cloud is all about. Future-proof your analytics infrastructure. The most important message I want to leave for you here today is you cannot win in this environment on legacy infrastructure. We have to optimize the infrastructure to really leverage the power of that data. This is about a holistic enterprise transformation, including your data center to manage your company's most valuable asset today for the next era, and that is your data.